Astronomers recently revealed that our newest interstellar visitor, known as 3I Atlas, is not the pristine cosmic artifact many had hoped it would be. Instead, data from the James Webb Space Telescope and NASA's SphereX mission show that its surface has been chemically reshaped by galactic cosmic rays, a relentless radiation that has altered it over billions of years during its long voyage through the void. Rather than a pure, untouched relic from another star system, what scientists are observing is the accumulated product of deep space exposure, a traveler scarred by its journey through the galaxy. Early reports framed Atlas as a typical comet-like body that changed color as it passed closer to the sun, a natural effect driven by heating and sublimation. Yet more detailed observations quickly undermined this simple interpretation. While most researchers categorized it as a comet similar to its interstellar predecessors, Oumuamua in 2017 and 2 I Borisov in 2019, others, including a prominent Harvard astronomer, publicly argued that certain anomalous behaviors suggested something far stranger, perhaps even an artificial probe. These speculations intensified when calculations revealed that 3I Atlas might be losing mass at an unprecedented rate, possibly breaking apart into multiple fragments. Though alternative theories suggested that the dramatic jets observed could be consistent with high-speed technological thrusters rather than natural outgassing. If the jets were indeed artificial, they would require far less mass than natural cometary emissions, leaving open the possibility of an engineered craft capable of controlled propulsion. Astronomers awaited the coming weeks anxiously, knowing the observations would determine whether Atlas behaved like a comet disintegrating under solar stress or a vessel maintaining integrity while releasing high-velocity exhaust. The object was first detected on July 1st, 2025 by the Atlas Survey in Hawaii, and its hyperbolic path confirmed its interstellar origin. It showed a visible coma, reassuring most observers that it was a comet rather than a solid, inert fragment like Oumuamua, but deeper spectral analysis soon uncovered something unprecedented, an extraordinarily high carbon dioxide to water ratio of about 7.66, the highest ever measured in any comet far exceeding the typical ratio of less than two. Even more puzzling was that this measurement came when Atlas was still too cold for solar heating to artificially enrich its surface chemistry. Early hypotheses suggested that perhaps it formed in an especially CO2-rich region of its parent system or underwent unusual chemical processes in its natal protoplanetary disk. But none of these explanations matched the magnitude of enrichment. Instead, a transatlantic research team proposed that the only plausible mechanism was long-term cosmic ray irradiation, a process known to transform carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide while producing complex organic residues. Laboratory experiments on Earth had already replicated these reactions, and their outcomes matched the spectral fingerprints observed on Atlas. According to the models, cosmic rays would have gradually created a radiation process crust 15 to 20 meters thick, meaning that the material venting from its surface now comes from this altered layer rather than the primordial interior. This realization shifted scientific expectations dramatically. Instead of pristine snapshots of alien systems, interstellar comets turn out to be chemically evolved artifacts shaped by their journeys across the galaxy. Their surfaces are not windows into their origins, but records of their travels, scarred by exposure to cosmic radiation. The reddish hue observed on Atlas reinforced this interpretation, resembling other outer solar system bodies like Sedna and Make Make, whose surfaces have also been transformed by cosmic bombardment over immense time scales. These findings imply that researchers studying interstellar objects are analyzing not their beginnings, but their long histories a humbling insight that interstellar space is an active chemical environment, not a passive void. The hope of sampling unaltered extrasolar materials has been complicated, but a new opportunity emerges. These objects can serve as natural laboratories for understanding how radiation shapes matter across the galaxy. As Atlas approached perihelion, astronomers anticipated the possibility, though slim, that sunlight might penetrate deep enough to expose unprocessed interior layers, but most models suggested it would remain too shallow. Meanwhile, 
Missions like ESA's Comet Interceptor and upcoming detections from the Vera Rubin Observatory promise earlier identification of such objects, giving scientists more time to analyze them before they undergo further alteration. Yet, just as the scientific community was adjusting to these revelations, Atlas delivered a shock. Observatories recorded a sudden 40% increase in luminosity within two minutes, accompanied by a shift in thermal output, as if systems had powered on. No natural mechanism matched this event. It was neither a fragmenting outburst nor a collision. More troubling, orbital calculations soon indicated that Atlas had subtly altered its trajectory in a way inconsistent with gravity or solar radiation pressure. It had changed course, adjusting its inclination to align more closely with Earth's orbital plane, as though it were maneuvering. This sparked intense debate. Some advocated for caution, citing gravitational uncertainties, but others noted that no known comet had ever executed such a shift. If Atlas possessed active propulsion or navigation, then it was not a passive relic. Spectroscopic readings further fueled unease by revealing traces of reflective alloys, rare earth elements, and spectral signatures of compounds not found in nature. Materials resembling theoretical quantum-structured substances hypothesized in advanced physics laboratories. These findings suggested either staggering age or technological manufacture by a civilization far beyond human capability. And even though no definite conclusions could be drawn, the implications were impossible to ignore. Governments reacted with an abrupt and coordinated secrecy. Observatory networks encrypted their data research teams were reassigned, and sudden recalibration procedures were performed on satellites. Leaked documents from several nations suggested that Atlas might be a reconnaissance probe rather than a random interstellar wanderer designed to travel vast distances while monitoring star systems. Its unusual stability and apparent ability to remain operational for eons reinforced the idea of a long-duration automated device. Yet the essential question remained, what was it looking for? The situation escalated when a team at the SETI Institute transmitted a radio message toward Atlas, containing basic mathematics and scientific constants. After days of silence, a narrowband signal returned, not as a reflected echo, but with intentional timing that mirrored the transmission delay. This indicated purposeful processing, not passive scattering. Soon after, Observatories worldwide began experiencing synchronized technical malfunctions. Thermal mapping irregularities on web, gyroscope disruptions on Hubble, pixel distortions on ground-based telescopes, all occurring specifically when targeting Atlas. A theory emerged that the object was selectively jamming our instruments, controlling what we could observe. This suggested intent, awareness, and even defense. Within days, Public access to observatory data vanished as agencies refused to comment, and previously detailed reports were replaced with vague statements. Independent observatories attempted to release raw data, but misinformation washed over their findings. Meanwhile, a coalition of scientists analyzed the remaining data, searching not for communication, but for intent. They found that Atlas's trajectory formed a Fibonacci arc when mapped against planetary positions and that the timing of its flares and course adjustments corresponded to prime number sequences, mathematical patterns with vanishingly small odds of occurring naturally. These patterns hinted at deliberate navigation, perhaps even encoded behavior functioning as a message in itself. Some theorists proposed that Atlas was not merely a probe. It was a form of interstellar communication, conveying information not through language, but through action. The mounting evidence increasingly pointed to a singular, unsettling conclusion. Atlas was never just a comet. Its unnatural emissions, engineered materials, deliberate course changes, selective interference, and calculated signal response collectively indicated that humanity had encountered something intelligent or at least something built by intelligence, and that this arrival might not be accidental. The James Webb Telescope, designed to study the early universe, may have instead glimpsed something ancient and aware observing us from the edge of our cosmic neighborhood. Silence now surrounds the object as agencies tighten control, 
but the data already seen cannot be unseen. Atlas came, it changed course, it responded, and it watched. What happens next remains unknown. Perhaps it is simply continuing its journey. Perhaps it is gathering information. Or perhaps it is waiting for something or someone. Whatever its purpose, 